So sorry, can you tell all the ice on them? It's actually pretty cool. I gotta close it because of the cat. I thought I'd do it. Oh, that was a fire truck. Um, we're currently having freezing rain at the moment. If you've seen from the beginning of the video, all the trees are covered in complete ice. Um, so yeah, I gotta work in the morning. So mm. hopefully, um, I know they were salting as I was coming home from work, so that should be okay. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd do a little quick video. I have a blog post going up as well with this one, so you'll see it in the, um, the description box, my link to my blog, and the, trying to get it, so, there we go. So basically, this little video is, uh, it's like, how do I call it, waiting game? Yeah, how many of us actually play the waiting game? So to me, like, the waiting game is, um, you know, wait to have more time, you know, oh, I'll wait till I have money to do this. You know, I'll wait till I have a bigger place to do this. I'll wait till I have a computer to do this. I'll wait till I have a camera to do this. Uh, so there's always excuses that we make um, in order not to do something. Um, this year has, like 2016, has been a year to uh, basically work on myself and work through um, everything in my head. So I don't know if anybody will understand what I'm saying if I'm just babbling. Uh, but basically, I'm a really happy person. Um, almost all the time and even when I'm not happy I'm still happy if that makes sense to you guys and uh, but even though I am happy my mind was in like a chaotic mess so uh, like a lot of things would run through my head I'm sorry I'm trying to hold my camera as well uh, so trying to run through my head everybody's gonna understand this but um, like running through stuff in my head so basically you'd live life like I lived life always being happy, always smiling. That was really close, I'm sorry. Um, always happy and kind of like try not to let things bother me. Um, but yet my mind um, was always going backwards. So basically I would like talk myself up, you know, oh, I can do this, this is going to be awesome. But then in one word, I would just, my whole world would come tumbling down, you know. Um, in my mind, it was like I always had an excuse for everything, everything. So, you know, I can't do this because I'm not smart enough. No, I can't do this because I don't have any money, blah, blah, blah. You know, so the, the cycle would go on and on and on. Um, and this is not new to me, but um, the last few years, probably in the last, I would say, four years, I have been really, um, my limits have been pushed. And I've had to do things that I've never done before. And, you know, I've accomplished them and I'm happy for it. And 2016 was the year... Um, to work on me. Uh, basically, uh, how do I explain this? Like, working through your your mind is, um, you have to be prepared. Like, you have to be, there's things that you'll find that you're like, oh my God, really? This is why I did that? And it's kind of like a, a cycle that begins and you start to realize things that you've done in your life and the reasons why you've done it. Um, and then there's things that come from your past that kind of like show you why you've done it the way you've done it or someone has basically put that in your head. Um, so yeah, there's a lot to work through. And I can actually say now that I am a happy person. I always try to turn things into positives. Like it could be something so negative and I will like try my darndest to make it positive, you know? So things always happen for a reason and there's always a message in it. And that's the way I feel. So my chaotic mind, um, it's still chaotic. I'm not gonna say it's not because it's always going to be like that because that's just the way my brain works. Because, But, and it's a different kind of chaotic. It's not like a negative cycle of chaotic. Um, now my brain's like, Ooh, how can I do this? Like, Oh, how can I turn this into a better thing? And it's like ongoing. Um, so it's pretty cool how I've like changed my way of thinking. So when I say stay positive, stay awesome, I actually mean it. Stay positive, stay awesome because it works. Um, I have my bad moments. I think we all do. We're all entitled to them. Uh, I have my bad moments, but that's what they are. They're moments. Um, they are, I, you know, I work through it. I find a way to work through it productively and I don't let it influence me negatively. Um, if I find that I'm going down that road, I, I find stuff to um, put my mind to work. So to find positive things in my life. So that's a good thing. So that's basically, I, I was sitting down. I was like, 
trying to figure out to write a blog because I'm trying to do one every week. Um, so I don't know if I've been successful. I should check that. <laughs> and uh, I wrote the blog and then I was like, I was just writing and not thinking of what I was writing. And after I read it, I was like, wow, yeah, that, that, that's me. Um, so it's pretty cool. So I hope this kind of helps you guys out there to not play the waiting game. Uh, we, our lives are, are not, we're not immortal. Like we don't live forever. Uh, I don't want to go on my deathbed or get really sick and then think, oh, I should have done this or I should have done that. I don't want to do that. I want to be able to know that I've lived my life to the fullest and I've tried everything that I want to try. Uh, so that's kind of like what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm just trying to let you guys know that if you put your mind to something, you can accomplish it. If you have dreams, goals, aspirations, don't sit around and wait for them to happen because it's that's not the way it works. You have to go out and grab them. Go out and get them. Um, you want them? Get them. <coughs> work for it. It's, sorry, that's my dogs. I've just seen someone outside. Try to work on yourselves and know that you are worth it. Um, make yourselves happy. You know, that's all I can really say. I've always been a person that, like, if I made a decision, I kind of, like, it would dwindle. You know, it's like, oh, whatever, you know, or if I made a decision that impacted me like greatly, I would feel so guilty um, because of it. Like, especially if there's like negative energy around me and I just like I couldn't deal, deal with it anymore. I would feel so guilty because I was thinking like I was thinking I was being selfish about it. But in actuality, now it's I'm not being selfish. I can't handle the negative energy. I can't deal with it. Um, it literally makes me sick. I'd rather be in a room full of positive, happy people than in a room full of negative energy because that really draws a lot from you. And if you have so many negative, like if you hang around with a lot of negative people and they're like, you know, negative ninnies, you know, you're, you'll you talk about something, you know, and they'll be like, oh, I don't think you can do that because of this. They always have an excuse on why you can't do it. And that's the way I was like in my brain. It wasn't like that out loud, but in my brain I was. Um, so I'm so glad that this, that these couple of years and especially last year, I've literally buckled down and said, no, enough's enough. Um, we got to do something. So for anybody out there, know that you can do it and you know, you can turn negatives into positives. Even like the most negative thing, there's always something that you can grab something positive. I know people are going to like backlash me on my comments. That's fine. Go ahead. Um, but those are your opinions and I have my opinion. So love you guys. Stay positive. Stay awesome.